Hey y'all, so a lot of you that are already subscribers of this channel know that I really like smart home devices and especially ones that add security to the house. And a lot of times those are camera systems. So I decided to go with this floodlight instead of the ring because it did have some of the features I was hoping that the ring would have and was looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump right into what this floodlight has to offer and really highlight, I believe it's the three things that made me decide to go with this instead of the ring floodlight. So we got a mounting bracket, of course, got varying sizes of wire nuts. We got some bolts. We've got, of course, the installation guide. There's some screw caps. We've got this little ribbon here and with a hook on it. And then there's this USB plug, and this is gonna be used here in just a moment to set this camera up before it actually gets hardwired in. All right, so if we flip this floodlight around, we'll see here, this is a little cover that we need to take off. And then that exposes a sync button and then also where the USB plugs into. So in order to power this up, we'll need that USB cord that's gonna plug into the back here and then just plug it in and then plug it into the back of the floodlight and that will power it on. And while that's powering on, we need to go into the App Store and download the Eufy app. And that's what's going to actually walk us through step by step all of the directions in order to get this all set up. So when it prompts you to scan this QR code, just flip this up and then just put your camera over the top of the QR code and it will scan it for you. The app will do the rest. So for me, this is gonna be a really easy installation because I already had a floodlight here. So I've got my junction box already set. I've got my wiring already run wiring running onto the other lights. It's ideal if you can find a location where you could use this, where you already have all of this set up. All right, so first things first, I need to take my mounting bracket that's supplied in the kit and attach it with a couple of bolts into the junction box that's in place. All right, so now I've got that bracket up in place. Now I can anchor this to it so that I can work on the wiring without having to hold this up. So I take that strap with the hook that was supplied in the kit and I'm just gonna wrap it around this main center light right there and then just pull up on it now i've got this just hanging here now i can just work on my wires a lot easier i've got three sets of wires i've got this white set here which is neutral this black set which is the line and then of course this bare copper wire so all i'm going to do is i'm going to match up my corresponding wires with each of the wires coming from the camera with the ones coming out of the junction box. So I'll start with my bare copper wires and connecting it to this green ground wire. Next, I'll connect the white wire coming out of the camera to my white neutral wires coming from the junction box. And now I'll take my black wire that's coming from the floodlight and attach it to my two black wires that are coming out of the junction box. Give all the wires a nice little pull just to make sure they're in there tight. Now I can take the bolt and run it up through the bottom side coming out the top here. Of course, at this point, I also need to tuck my wires up into the junction box so that they're not in the way as I tighten the light down into the junction box. Once that bolt is completely tightened down into the junction box, if you're putting it into a soffit like I am, then you can just flip the camera up and snap it into place. Now that's all tightened down, now I can actually start adjusting my lights the way I want them. And since this is gonna be on the corner of my house, I'm gonna want one light heading that direction, one light going that direction, of course the middle light just facing out. Now that I've got the lights set exactly the way that I want them, now I can remove all the protective stickers on all of the lights and the camera lens. All right, so now we can actually go into the app itself and go through each of the individual settings. Now this is a cool setting and that's to set the color temperature. I personally am gonna set it all the way up to as cool as possible. I like that more white light and it's gonna match my other floodlights a lot better. In that same setting, you can set up detection type, you can set it to human only or set it to all motion. I'm personally gonna have it set to all motion because sometimes I have some wildlife come through my yard and I like to know what's coming through the yard and maybe even going over to my vegetable garden and eating up my vegetables. Another big setting is in monitoring settings. This is where you can turn on the motion tracking. This is where if it detects motion in any of the directions that you set it to, that once it detects it, it will follow, the camera will follow that person or whatever set off the motion, it will follow it anywhere that it goes as long as it's within 
the viewing range of that camera. And you can change the sensitivity as to how sensitive that is. And you can also, one of the other things I like that's cool is you can set up preset positions of your yard so that you can quickly pan to each one of those and it knows which areas to be monitoring in. Now another really cool feature with this camera was the ability to go into live view without any motion or anything. I can just go in anytime and I can look anywhere in the yard that that camera is visible. So that means that, for instance, if I wanted to check if the shed is closed, maybe I'm not at home, I want to just make sure that the shed is closed or see if I left a tool in the yard or whatever it may be. If I just want to view something, I can pan that lens anywhere that I want and check on it and most cameras cannot do that so that is a really cool feature and i'm actually really impressed with the quality of how well it does it all right so as you can see the camera picked me up in one of the zones that is that roaming that is where it's going through all of the preset positions and it's monitoring for motion and then once it picks up the motion then it continually follows it with that one setting and as you can see, it's doing a great job of following me no matter where I go. I haven't even reached the default zone yet. And I'm walking into the backyard now where the default zone is. And as you can see, you can clearly see my colors that I'm wearing. I'm very well lit up. There's bugs everywhere. And the definition is really good. You can see everything that I am doing. So I'm super happy with the quality of this floodlight camera. I really like all the features that come with it and how well that they work. I mean, not every device that you buy, just because it has features, doesn't mean that they're quality features. And I really don't have very many complaints with it at all. And it was a pretty easy installation as you saw. So I really recommend it. I'll have a link down in the description down below where you can check the floodlight camera out for yourself. And if you decide you wanna get one, you can also pick it up. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful and informative. And if you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and also leaving a comment down in the comment section what you thought about it or if you have other devices that you recommend. I'd love to hear about them. And if you have any questions at all, you can leave those down in the comments as well. And if you like videos like you saw here today, then consider hitting that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future ones coming out. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See ya.